Yo, what's good, man? It's Word Spit the Ellis, and you are watching Word Spit on AdultFiles.com. Yeah, we the Ellis. I said it, yo, check it. I started flowing like RZA, perpendicular to the square. In my zone, I told Chrome I'm sick of when hair. Get high your rhymes, nigga, no weed, look of a bed. Spit digital through my peripheral. I see a bad bitch, tell her come here. Put her esophagus on my genitals. If beef get critical, shoot when it to you minister. to reduce your physical to its least comma reciprocal. So What's up? You're watching DopeFiles.com. I'm Latasha hosting a webisode for you, and I'm sitting here next to the rapper, the artist, Word Spit, the illest. Make sure I put that all in this time. Yes. Hi, Word Spit. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm pretty cool today. I'm in Brooklyn in a studio at Word Spit, who's banless right now, because every time we see you, you just you got the big, the illest band behind you doing it big. Yeah. Yes, um, yeah, you know, I love my band, like my brothers. Um, yeah, um, recently I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, without them, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, I am a soul artist, and, you know, that's my my band, and, you know, they back me with the music I'm doing. Um, also, just a side note, we're doing an EP. It's going to be pretty good. And speaking of your band, you guys had a, an emotional moment at the Bamboozle contest. You guys won the regional, the regional finals. Got through. Shout out to Dave. Yes, Shout yes. Great contest, staff. Yeah, I had an emotional moment, man. Like you know, tears just strolling. Yeah, it was. Cause you know, mm -hmm. let me tell you why. Cause like that was the first time I felt um, it wasn't about being black. It wasn't about being white. It was just about you know just coming and being good. When any when anybody get told no a whole bunch of times, and then this big co uh, company, cause like bamboozle break contests are like a live nation event. Their staff is telling you that like midway through the day that you're the best band there by far. And this is midway through the day. And they not only tell you that, but you make history and you they hand you a contract. Like who wouldn't cry, B? Like That's come on, moment. like yeah. that was a that was a special moment. And where else do you or who else do you draw inspiration from to for your lyricism? Um, you know, I, I could sit up here and give you generic answers like Nas and <laughs> everybody. Like, mm -hmm. I just, there's so many people, you know, Master Nissa, my cousin. Like, he was one of the first cats I know that was, like, putting out mixtapes and selling his mixtapes that I know. Um, I drew from that. Um, you know, of course I'm going to say, like, Big E, Jay-Z, you know, I like, I definitely like Lupe. I'm, I'm in love with Nirvana. You know, one of my favorite bands are, like, Pink Floyd, The Kings. They're pretty cool. Um, I also, like... And in recent times, I've been like hanging out with like Game Rebellion and Ninja Sonic and like that, that whole movement over there. Like my father, in particular, because he was just bumping with Master P and like we were just crazy listening to Master P all the time. And it was just like, uh, every day. I think if you get stuck with that one particular section of music you listen to, it just becomes boring, you know what I mean? And that's not art. So. And speaking of your father, he was also a musician, was he? Um, yeah, one of my fathers is a musician. Um, one I, of your fathers? Yeah, because I have two fathers. I have the, the, you know, the man who birthed me, you know, mm -hmm. and I have the man who nurtured my growth from, you know, a kid up until now. But, you know, my father who birthed me, which we're in his studio. But, yeah, he's actually a musician. This is all his stuff. He actually built, I'm pretty sure he didn't think, like, his son was going to be, like, a rapper or anything. Like, but even back then, when he built it, like, I, I remember, like, when I was young, I used to just come here and just hop in the booth. And some, but something that started out as a hobby actually grew into something, like, powerful and monumental for you and as far as your career. I mean, like, you've gotten a lot of press, Double XL, The Source. Daily News, McDonald's commercial, like, how was, all, how is that, like, sitting back, like, just looking back at all the stuff that you've accomplished and, and even landing, like, a national commercial as, as big as that? Yeah, it feels, at times it still feels unreal, and I just feel like it's just a, a part of the story, because I still feel like it's, like, I'm not complacent, it's still more to achieve, like, it's, like, yeah, cool, I got the McDonald's commercial, cool, I've been featured on a couple websites, but, like, it's more to go grab for. They don't see the many days, the money that me taking my last $10 
like years ago, going to that one open mic, you know, waiting, like going last when it was like two people, like nobody was there, it's only two people in the room. And I'm like, nah, I paid my $10, I'm gonna rock out just like I would rock out in any stadium, because that's where I see myself. You have your mixtape, the coolest Speed Boy stand. I, I like to call it a mixed album, because like, album. it was really an experience of my life, man. Each, each song on there is, you know, it's, it's symbolizing a struggle or a happy time, uh, a depression that I went through. Mm -hmm. So it's not an emo album, everybody, so cut it. <laughs> so you are working on another project, though, that you hope to release this summer. Tell us about that. Um, you know, the project I'm working on is called Mixtape Sponsored by Ninjas. Hopefully that comes to fruition. Um, it's basically going to be a collaboration of freestyles. Um, that's what all I'm going to tell you. This project I want to do, which I'm doing three projects, I'm doing an episode two, the sequel to the Cool With B-Boy Stance. I'm trying to do an EP with my live band on top of doing this mixtape, which is just going to be for the people, man. Um, this one is just, it's just for y'all, be Like, I appreciate everything y'all done for me. If it wasn't for y'all, like, I can't say we the illest because it would look stupid saying we the illest and it's just me. Like, we the illest. Team Ellis forever. <laughs> like, serious. Thank you, you guys. Definitely check for Word Spit the Illis for Team We the Illis. Tell everyone where your website is and how to contact you, find your music, and all of that. Yo, hit me up on wordspitwithsaid.com. Make sure you go to iTunes, download the coolest B Boy Stance. It's worth the money. 18 tracks. Also, if you're on Twitter, twitter.com slash wordspit. And be sure to look out for them webisodes on YouTube, youtube.com slash wordspit. Wordspit, thank you so much for sitting down with me again on Dope Files. Okay. Appreciate you. Uh, you, too. you guys just saw another episode of DopeOut.com with me, Latasha, and I'll see you later. Yeah. The lights are flashing.